welcome to the International Students and Scholars Services Portal. This portal is called our new International Student and Scholar Experience. This is an updated version of our previous system if you logged into it before. It's going to look slightly different, um, but hopefully it'll enhance your experience as it will track you through your immigration um, track record. When you log in, you're still going to go to the ISSS.usu.edu website, and that takes you to this login page. All students, even if you're on OPT, will click the F and J students to log in. When you log in as a student, you're going to be taken to kind of this important information page. This important information page um, has general updates. You'll be able to review personal and program information to see kind of what we have in the system, as well as you're going to be able to review student forms. Now, this view is different from my view, obviously, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. And because it has fewer options, hopefully it's easy to navigate. Most students are going to find themselves reviewing their basic contact information. And then for any requests, you're going to go to the student form page. Today, we're going to go over the program extension. Now, each request has its own little icon. And you're going to click whatever that icon is. But for this one, we're going to click on Program Extension. And it's going to show you what it is that we need. First, you're going to see is a video, the one we're recording, about the Program Extension. You can watch that for additional information. But essentially, you're going to be going through and you're going to be answering a series of questions. And for a Program Extension, Probably the main thing to note is that you have to have an academic reason for a program extension. And so in order to receive that, this has to go to your major advisor um, or your academic advisor if you're an undergrad student. And again, your advisor is going to prove that you need additional time for a specific reason. Now, all F1 students have to be making regular progress in order to be eligible for a program extension. What that means is you've had to be maintaining full-time status every semester or had an approved RCL in order to obtain an extension. And so again, making sure that you're registered every semester, making sure that you're making academic progress. Failure to make academic progress is not a reason for a program extension unless they're extenuating circumstances. Talk to your advisor to find out if something like that is the case with your particular request. Under each of these items, though, what you're going to find is that there's a series of questions um, and there's information that you have to read. So when we look at learning content, you actually have to watch the video and then you hit next. Um, and then you're going to read about maintaining status. Um, what are the reasons? Um, there's a questionnaire. That particular questionnaire is going to ask you about the dates. Uh, what is your new end date? So again, you're going to work with your advisor to determine that new program end date. So in order for us to do an extension, one of the things that you have to do is you have to provide new financials. Anytime that we're touching that program end date on the front page of your I-20, you have to show that you're able to afford to continue to maintain that status. So similar to when you applied for USU and had to provide financials, you're going to provide financials here. You're going to upload a copy of your bank statement or bank letter. If someone else is funding you, um, you're going to complete that affidavit of support. Um, what we generally recommend is if that's you, fill it out uh, so we know that you're funding yourself and then it'll fill that requirement. And then you're gonna upload your passport because you have to have a valid passport while you're here in the US. So do make sure that your passport is not expired or expiring in the next six months. You're then going to upload a scan of all your prior I-20s. With this system, you're going to want to make sure that you include just one file with all those documents because it will only let you upload one document. So make sure that that document upload has all the pages from your previous I-20s. You're going to upload a copy of your I-94. Your I-94 is the proof of your port of entry the last time you entered the US. So if you traveled home during the holidays or during a summer vacation, you will have an updated I-94 number. 
And then you're going to upload your visa stamp page. So this is going to have your visa as well as your last entry stamp. And then we require that you upload your transcript. Again, the reason for this is that we need to see that you're making progress. You're going to upload a zero balance summary. So this is showing that you don't have any money owing to USU. Again, we want to make sure that if we extend your program, that you're able to successfully enroll in the future semester. And if applicable, you'll see in here a doctor's letter. So sometimes uh, an extension is required for a medical reason. Um, and again, you would just need to provide proof of that from a licensed medical doctor. And we go down to the next learning content. Um, and again, some basic things. Um, all requests take about three to five business days. So when you submit this, uh, it'll alert us uh, that you've submitted a request. You'd have to complete all of those required sections. Your advisor would have to provide you um, proof that you have a reason. And at the very bottom, you're gonna hit submit. I can't do that today um, because we're just looking at what it looks like. But you can see in here, um, you know, we're gonna review your, your request. We're gonna make sure that you've been maintaining status and that you've uploaded all the prior uh, requirements. And at the bottom, you'll see in our new system, the submit buttons um, at the very bottom. Once that's done, we will let you know through email communication that your program extension has been completed. If you do have questions or you need to make an appointment, please call our office or email internationalstudents at usu.edu. Again, thank you for joining us for the program extension review.